Hey, third graders, Ms. Chow here. All right, so we are done with topic 16. Um, we are circling back to one of the topics that we skipped earlier in the year. Lesson nine is more about addition and subtraction and becoming more fluent with adding and subtracting three digit numbers. Um, this first lesson has us taking a look at numbers in their different place values and thinking about how we can break apart numbers and add them back up. So first of all, let's make sure we understand and remember what place value means. You can read right here on the slide. Place value is the value given to a place a digit has in a number. So maybe this example makes more sense. Uh, if you had the number 284, and we're looking at just the digit eight in that number. Since the eight is in the tens place, the value of the eight is 80. Is this sounding familiar? Okay, but that same digit eight has a different value in the number 830. In this case, the value of the digit eight is 800. So, you're going to turn to solve and share page, which flip back now to page 475, 475. So this is still in your volume two workbook, the one we've been using, got to flip back. And the um, big idea is that you are going to use place value to break apart numbers into their different place values and then add the numbers back together. So the solve and share says, find the sum of 327 plus 241. Think about place value. So it does say solve this problem any way you choose. So for some of you that might be using the uh, standard algorithm, but I'd really like to encourage you to think about breaking apart the problem. So like you see here the, in place value blocks, they're showing the number 327. You see the three flats, 300, the two rods, or the two longs, it's 20, and then they have seven ones or units for a total of 327. Now, one thing you could do in your own workbook, you could draw your own place value blocks right below it, just kind of abbreviating maybe with a, with a square, you don't have to draw all 100 units, but so this would be representative of 200, and it says 241, right? So how many rods would you draw, or how many longs? Yep, four. So 240, and there's one. So this represents 241, right? So I would, I don't want to do too much, maybe I already have. Um, draw these place value blocks to represent 241 on, this, on your workbook page, then add the hundreds, add the tens, add the ones, and see what you get. Pause the video and do that. All right, we're gonna to need to analyze some fictional students' work. Sorry, my dog's barking in the background. Okay, um, so on the left here, we have Ben's work. He explains, I broke 327 and 241 into hundreds, tens, and ones. Then I added the hundreds, tens, and ones. Awesome, so Ben breaks apart 327 into, this is called expanded form. So 327 equals 300 plus 20 plus seven. And then 241 is shown as equaling 200 plus 40 plus one. 
and then he stacks the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, and shows his addition that way, and puts all them back together. So there's 500 plus 60 plus 8, and you can see then combining those makes 568. That is the correct sum. And then David's work shows that he is lining up the numbers by their place value and then adding the two numbers in each place value column. So which do you think is uh, an example that shows a clearer understanding of place value? Yeah, I would say the one on the left. And that's the one we're working on just to make sure that this concept is solid in our minds. Um, I know Amelia Yu was asking, if, I hope she doesn't mind me saying, but in yesterday's check-in, the question she's had since first grade is, why do we need to show our work and explain our thinking if we already know how to do it one way? Why do we have to show it that, you know, in another way? And we had a pretty good conversation about that. I hope she accepts my answer. <laughs> but this is an example where, yes, you if you can show the correct sum with a standard algorithm, that's great. That's showing one type of mathematical skill. But the one we're focusing on today in today's lesson is showing that you can break apart these numbers by their place value and then how they can add that up, back up. So if you can do it both ways, that's showing even more math flexibility. All right, let's watch the video. How, how can you break large addition problems into smaller ones? Find the sum 243 plus 179. Each digit in each number can be modeled with place value blocks. You can use place value to add the numbers. Break 243 plus 179 into smaller problems. Think about the place values of each number. How can we find the total? Add the sums of all the places. Now you know how to break large addition problems into smaller ones with place value blocks. All right, that was a pretty short video compared to some others. Keep following along in your workbook. This is on page 477. Now, what I have displayed on the screen here is the guided practice. As you can see, there are already the answers filled in. I'm convinced that this will still be a helpful way for you to learn how to do these kinds of problems before you do the independent practice. So for number one, suppose you were adding 527 plus 405. What numbers would you combine when adding the tens? Why? So you need to look at the digits that are in the tens place in these two numbers. All they're asking is which numbers would you combine, put together? So 20 from the 2 in 527 plus 0 from the 0 in 405. So you would write that 20 plus 0. And to answer the question why, You'd write, there are two tens in 527 and zero tens in 405. Number two, write the smaller problems you could use to find 623 plus 281. What is the sum? What I like about how they provided the answers here is that they have organized columns. So they list the hundreds and then below you see the 600 plus 200 
equals 800. And then they label the next column over the tens, 20 plus 80 equals 100. And then the ones, three plus one equals four. And you see where they're getting those, right? And then off to the right, they've included a heading that says total. And they're taking the total from each of those columns, 800 plus 100 plus four. We're making sure that they're all lined up by place value for a total of 904. Make sense? So when it asks, write the smaller problems you could use to find, and then it shows it an addition problem, this is one way you could do that. What is a sum? Of course, they're asking for the total in an addition problem. All right. For number three, use place value to find the sum. So there's the problem listed, 365 plus 422. They are showing that with the place value blocks, which is a good tool to show what those numbers actually mean. And then they have the columns broken down the hundreds. So you just have to write the totals. 700, and then there's 80, and then one's place there's seven, and then in the total side, you're putting all of those together. 700 plus 80 plus seven equals 787. All right, so if you wanna copy those answers in, you can, or you can always pause the video and rewind when you need to see these examples again as you continue with independent practice. So here's what you're going to do. If, you're, if you'd like to keep working in your workbook, you'll just finish the rest of the page. That's four through 11, all of those. For numbers four and five, as you can see, they already have the place value blocks pictured for you and the columns all set up. So you just have to write the sums. Um, and then six through 11, they don't show the place value blocks. Oh, and don't give you much space to write your own columns. So um, you can do that on separate paper. If you happen to have place value blocks at home, you can do it that way. Um, but if you wanna go ahead and just, since it's a pretty small space, you can just write the answer in right next to or below the problem. So that's six through 11. All right, and then as you can see here, you, you do have to do three problems on the back page or on 478. So you can circle these problems in your workbook now. 12, 16, and 17. Those are the required problems. You're welcome to do more if you want. If you're doing the work online, you might notice a little different format, not Pearson, realize it's Savas or something. Anyway, it's still the same way to log in and it looks the same once you go into your assignments. So look for 9-1 and you can, um, I'd like for you to watch the Another Look video. The visual learning there is there just because I'm used to posting that. You don't have to watch that one again, but watch the Another Look video and choose either the practice buddy or the quick check. Alrighty. And that's it for today. If you weren't here for uh, Tuesday's math check-in, I hope to see you either today or tomorrow. Thanks, good luck.